Looking back on it, Taryn had pretty much all of the symptoms of ovarian cancer, but at 21 years old, you just never would have thought. She had had her well woman exam not even a month before she was diagnosed. They came back with an 11 centimeter cyst, which is the size of a softball. And not even a month before that, they didn't find anything. Small cell carcinoma of the ovary is among the most rare of ovarian cancer subtypes, about uh, a fraction of a percent of all ovarian cancer. There were no treatments, really. They were all on case studies. First PET scan, she was totally clean, and we celebrated. She was so excited when she got the call. And then the second one was just after Valentine's Day, and the cancer had come back. There weren't any solutions out there. She was treated, it went in remission for a month, and then when it recurred, nobody knew what to do. And that's why it was kind of exciting to have the option of TGen to come into the picture to, to find a solution that might work. To understand that they were taking on something that was like going to the moon, and to see that they were on that cutting edge was wonderful. And TGen then did the molecular profiling. They came up with about 10 target treatments. So we were really excited. I mean, very encouraged about it. I'm so grateful because we were able to do that because we were able to have her for six more months. I took Taryn in for a treatment and her heart rate was elevated too high. And Dr. Anthony told her, Taryn, your heart rate's too high. We need to get it down before I can give you your treatment. From the time that we took her in, it was eight days, and she passed away. What, what Taryn taught me was that uh, you know, life is uh, to be lived. And uh, when she contracted her disease, she also uh, taught all of us that uh, go and fight it. The gift that Foster and Lynn Fries provided us uh, at TGen in memory of Taryn gives us a remarkable opportunity to look into the genetics of this disorder and try to marry it with a drug that can make a difference for these young women. She wants us to help all these other girls and women to where they don't have to go through this, to where we can find this stuff early and, you know, where they don't have to suffer like she did.